it's the end of the day. It's quiet. The wind is starting to die down. It's starting to cool off. And I want to talk to you a little bit about burnout. I've been doing a whole series on burnout. So if you've missed them, go back into my profile and check them out. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about work-life balance and how creating a good work-life balance can help us to sustain ourselves, have sustainable energy and be able to accomplish the things that we want and need to do. The first thing that you need to make sure you do is get enough rest. And I know this is a hard one. It's a hard one for me. I go, go, go like an energizer bunny and then I don't have any more energy and I collapse and I don't get things done the way I should. The number one thing is to get the rest that you need. Number two, set aside time for your family. And number three is to set aside time every day for your hobbies, for the things that you're passionate about. Life is not a sprint, for most of us anyway, hopefully. <laughs> Life is a marathon. We're gonna be around for a long time. And so we need to do things in a sustainable way. Create chunks of time in a manner that you are most efficient. For some people that might be 15 minutes because their brains won't allow them to do any more than that. And then they need a break to do either do something else or just take a little break and then come back. For some people, maybe it's an hour, but probably not more than an hour at a time. And then take a, even if it's just a quick break, even if it's jumping up and down 10 times or getting a glass of water, take those little breaks, chunk your time in a way that is most effective for you because that's a very individual thing. And let's be the most successful we've ever been. If you liked this video, give me a like, a follow, a share, leave me a comment and I'll comment back. And if you're interested in learning about work-life balance and how to build a legacy for you and your family, check out the link in my profile.